In this segment, we'll show you how to install the VTRAC A-Class onto a standard rack. Installation is simple and the VTRAC A-Class comes with everything you need for rack mounting. If you've previously racked a VTRAC X30 RAID head or JBOD expansion chassis, this will be easy. The first step is to install the rail kit onto the rack. The rails have a slide rivet that allow you to easily adjust the rail to fit most popular rack depths. They also have guide pins that allow you to easily line up and hang them in the rack before bolting them in place. Before installing them, you want to make sure the rail flanges are side down. You also want to make sure the right and left labels on the rails face front. Now slide the rail into place and tighten the screws to lock them in place. Repeat this for the opposing side as well as any other rails needed for additional J-Bods. Now that the rails are in place, we can rack the V-Track A-Class. This requires two people. You can get a coworker or a friend. When lifting the V-Track A-Class, do not lift it by the handles but lift it by the bottom, front and center. Now secure the V-Track A-Class with its two front mounting screws and place the security cover over the front. Now that we've installed the V-Track A-Class, let's install a J-Bot expansion chassis. V-Track supports up to 240 drives of expansion via 9 J-Bots. The VTRAC A-Class is now installed in the rack. In our next video, we'll take a look at the back of the unit and show you how to cable it up.